Well, uh, 10 years ago, my goal was to, to, to scan one instrument and get the hell out of there and not, never get back to that again. Then um, we actually got, um, got hooked. Uh, Stradivari, he was, um, uh, he's probably one of the most successful instrument makers we ever had in, in, in the history of violin building, for sure. And he built some very, very beautiful instruments, and they're very, very good, and they produce very, very good sound. I don't think we can look for one single reason why Stradivari's instruments are so good, or, or, or people believe they are so good. There are many reasons. We decided from the beginning we're not going to talk about sound. And the reason we do not sound, talk about sound is that it's very, very difficult to put a scientific name or scientific value on sound. What can we actually learn from the instrument using that software? We, we can uh, establish um, uh, volume, air volume inside, and it's like establishing uh, the liquid volume in the heart. And you can measure densities, you can measure wood thickness, wood curvatures, so we have scanned about 50, 50 instruments, and, um, and that um, includes, um, I think, about uh, 10 or 12 uh, Stradivari, and, um, and, and a couple of Amadis, and Gournais, and Steiner, what we call the Cremona School. Uh, uh, the other half is probably from the late, uh, mid-18th century on and up to modern time. Okay. Uh, we use x-rays, and um, instead of taking one film x-ray of one object, uh, we actually make slices of x-ray. So it's like um, uh, producing slices from a piece of salami or um, uh, sauces or whatever. Then you can take all those slices and put them back together and um, make three-dimensional models and, and uh, you can learn a lot about construction features inside and outside. This picture represents um, a color display of the thickness variation found in the maple boards, okay? Um, yellow to red are um, uh, thick, and green is, uh, is uh, thin, okay? So the, you can see there's a very uniform, homogeneous uh, thinning of the board, and uh, then when you get into the center, um, it, it is a little thicker. If you take a look at the other two ones, uh, this is the top board. This is made from spruce, okay? And you can see the small squares here, okay? And, um, and those squares are patches which has been added to the instrument at a later time. In some cases, there are repairs because the wood probably cracked, okay? And you can see there's a long line here. That's, that's a, a bass bar. That, that's a, a piece of wood sitting in there which helps uh, to improve the sound quality. So um, what we're working on now is primarily to work on the software and not necessarily uh, scan more instruments. But if somebody comes with an instrument, then tell them we, we scan it.